OAS update. Thanks to some subscribers challenging my, my last video. Uh, I went back to my accountant and I said yada 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 and here's what he had to say. Okay, as I get rained on here and I just went out and got some free range chicken eggs. Ah, let me talk to you about this. Okay, here's what it is. The six months plus a day thing was because my accountant assumed that I would be going back and forth and wintering in the United States, which if you're there for more than six months, then you have to start, you're making income from out of the country and therefore you must register with the IRS. So the way around that is the six month plus a day thing. So we'll put that all aside because we're not talking about the US. However, if you are filing taxes, because like we had, we had a sales guy with our business that had to file in the US because a lot of his business was in the US or Canada. So he was working on both sides. So he had to file in both locations. Making money in the United States doesn't matter where you are generating your income from. This is why US citizens have to register with the IRS when opening a bank account here in the Philippines. Now, when it comes to Canadians though, we do not have to file um, with the IRS obviously because we're not working in the States, etc, etc. The six month plus a day thing does not apply to the Philippines and this is where my accountant messed up when I asked him the questions. But like I said, I said, okay, look, I need to phone you. He said, which one? I said, signal. Boom. We had the phone call. We had the answers. I, first thing I said was good morning from the Philippines. And he went, oh, that's why. He said, I saw it in your email, but God, so many of my clients are wanting to winter in the U.S. Okay, so the reciprocating agreement with the Philippines is we can get our OAS and CPP in full and live out of the country with one caveat. You are living or have a permanent residence in Canada. That can be with one of your kids. It can be, you know, a rental unit that you're renting out to somebody else. It can be all of those things and have a Canadian bank account so that your checks can be deposited. So as mentioned in the last video, some people pointed that out to me and also that HSBC has a branch here, apparently, probably Manila, um, that you can do bank to bank transfers. So we are going to seriously be looking at that one, um, even though we will still probably do a few transfers here and there using the, um, what do you call it, uh, the remittance outlets in Canada, because it's always good to have a backup <laughs> in case something goes sideways for you. So case in point with the currency rates here, nothing to do with OAS anymore, but the currency rates, because they were at 43 and we have it set up with this lady uh, where we can send remittance money, uh, we were able to send enough at 43 that we could afford to buy a car at a much lower price, sort of, than if it was at 40 or lower. Right. So again, taking advantage of those currency rates is so important and buffering in between is also so important in my opinion, in my opinion. Now, because of all of this, guys, what I'm going to do now is follow up with uh, BC Medical. I'll let you guys figure out your own provinces. Uh, but with BC Medical, I'm going to follow up with them saying that, you know, I am now fully retired. Do I need to be in Canada any specific amount of time uh, to be able to avail my medical if I happen to be out of the country but still maintaining a residence in Canada? So uh, Greg is going to send me very specific language and uh, I will check into that. Of course, it's not in part of his um, bailiwick. <laughs> to be able to deal with um, medical issues. It's all to do with taxation and accounting, right? Okay, there we go. That is your update on OAS. 
Yes, you can be out of the country if you're picking a country, not just the Philippines, there are other countries where you have a reciprocating agreement that allows you to be living out of the country, providing you still hold a residence in Canada and a bank account. Okay, there we go, guys. Six months plus a day is only to do with snowbirding in the United States. Boy, never assume, right? Later, Gators. Bye.